when you start a project, you're going to see this uh, template uh, screen that allows you to say what is your the template that you want to use for the project, and um, and this will already create you some uh, particles and with some uh, parameters and things like that. So by default, you have this single project that essentially going to create a, a traditional a particle group and a virtual microphone that is the base of any uh, particle system. Uh, also, you can create an empty, so essentially it's going to create only the virtual microphone but without any particles on top of it. Also, you have others, but before that, just let me see. This is the default virtual microphone that you want to use. If eventually you could say, okay, I don't want any, but this is a quick uh, approach for doing things. Um, and also you can eventually cancel if you simply don't want to create a new project. You can open directly uh, a project in here, eventually go directly to our site and to these videos. So let's see all the templates. This space delay is if you open this space, if you open this, if you open these space delays, as you can see, they, they are located in the circle line, which means that all of these sounds will arrive at the same time to the virtual microphone. There is no movement, but you can see two audio modifiers. One is a random gain, so in this case, you have 6 dB of a, a slight different gains between each particle, and you have a, a, a delay of half a second. So essentially, it's going to have delays, but with different positions in space. Um, let's continue. See the flying by. So in this case, what you are going to see is you have 100 particles that have a, a random velocity. So as you play, you're going to see all of these particles moving around you. Okay, and eventually as you can see, they are within one kilometer uh, uh, box with one kilometer by one kilometer and uh, 100 meters high and simply objects that are moving, uh, flying around you within this uh, one kilometer uh, area. Continue, you have pitch madness, okay? In this case, what you have in here is random delays up to two seconds and pitch shifting with minus and minus one octave and up to one octave. So essentially, this could be interesting and are moving around. You can see there is velocity in here. So okay, and also this you have all of this moving. So. It could be interesting if you want to create some strange pitch move, movement, things like that. Um, let's continue. We have a Doppler example. In this case, we have a single source that is moving around. So it starts 200 meters away and then you press and going to pass 10 meters away from the virtual microphone. So essentially, it could be interesting template if you want to create some kind of Doppler effect or something like that. Let's continue Doppler explosion. In this case, what you are going to have is an explosion. So you have, since they are moving at high speed, you're going to have a, a lot of Doppler uh, effects on it. Uh, so um, space detune, in this case, what you have, as you can see, it's only a slight detune of uh, uh, 0.3 semitones. Okay, so you have a slightly detune, and also since particles are spread to space, if you capture this in stereo or eventually multi channel, something like that, it's going to have a much more richness to the sound because it's going to be slightly detuned with different space coming from space, different space locations. So it could be an interesting way of create a rich version of your space. Granular synthesis, in this case, what you have here is random delays and grains. So essentially you are creating small grains. All of these grains have a, a random uh, 
a random delay of two seconds. So essentially, it's, it's a quite short uh, things because all of these grains will going to be fired up during the two seconds. So it's going to create your your project with all of this. Jumping sounds in the in this case it's also granular synthesis, but this granular synthesis that is played in sync, which means that as you move around, it's going to watch your your sound jumping from particle to particle. In this case, all particles are in front of you, so you are getting the feeling of the sound jumping from position to position. Also, we have spectral movement. So the idea here is for you to have several uh, particles with different bands. In this case, we have 10 bands. We have 10, parti 10 particles, which means that each particle, it's a subband of the spectrum, and then you're going to have the spectrum moving around you. So you have all of these things moving around you and different parts of the spectrum moving around you. So it could be interesting effect also. The magic wand is to create this kind of special effect, almost like fairy dust or something like that. So each one of these particles is a sound that you are creating sounds around you as you move by. So let's see the final one. It's reverb that is a special um, special template because you can think of particles almost as sound reflection. So we could say, okay, I have a particle over here that represents a sound reflection coming from this direction. This means that you can use the software as a reverb design tool. So you can create and design your own reverbs. So in this case, what I have here is uh, 50,000 particles. It'll, each particle will reproduce an impulse instead of an audio file. So I use the impulse over here. And then when you render, you are not render the audio, but you are going to render the impulse response of this virtual space. So in this case, you can use this and then using in this case, there are two modifiers, one of them, it's uh, random bands and random gains, which means that each reflection over here will going to have different gains and could, it will also reproduce different bands of the spectrum. So you will render this and end up with an impulse response that could be depending on your virtual microphone. It could be in stereo and 5.1 in 9.1 or whatever. So essentially use this in this case as a reverb design tool.